you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. But then again, you know that, don't you? Because that's why you tuned in. It appears that we have got two mucky pups at Sky. Anna Woolhouse and Barney Francis. Take a bow. I actually think, if this is true, that they make a good couple. He's obviously going through a midlife crisis. It is age. She's obviously a networker, wants to climb the, climb the ladder. And I think it's good. But what I don't want to see is conflicts of interest. Conflict of interest in the sport of boxing that affects me and my ulcers in the UK. <laughs> now, you can take this as tongue-in-cheek or comedy or whatever, but this is how I look at it. They make a great couple, so why don't you come out and just say, we're an item, instead of hiding behind this veil of secrecy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're going to come out sooner or later. I mean, she's a nice-looking girl, isn't she? Very polite, got manners and that. He's uh, the dashing Sky Sports head, who basically hasn't got a clue about boxing. Uh, he's the same man that gave us David A against Audley Harrison. Hmm. And Bell you cleverly on pay-per-view. Oh, my God, you couldn't make this up, could you? He even gave us David A twice, didn't he, against Bell you? Well, they're just a few of his mistakes, but he did give us Frotch Groves, didn't he, at Wembley? He gave us Vladimir Joshua, but not much else, did he, really? So I think that... It's a conflict of interest with Anna Woolhouse being at Sky because she's going to keep the... She's going to be towing the company line even more. Do you know what I mean? Relationships at work, I always think it's a problem. And when, when you've got people like us, the paying public, paying subscriptions and pay-per-view, and we're having to listen to the rubbish. I mean, Anna Woolhouse does... She's like, she does spout rubbish. She, like, champions... Uh, Women's boxing every two minutes. And Katie Taylor's an icon, this and that. Katie Taylor's fighting school dinner ladies. That's what she's fighting. School dinner ladies and dossers. All right? That's my opinion. These Olympian boxers are far too, far too superior for these people just turning over. That's the name of the game. Money. But these, these women boxers are getting too much airtime, in my opinion. But I ain't got a problem with it. We all like a bit of diversity, don't we? But conflict of interest, these two. But I just thought I'd like to say, I wish the happy couple all the best. The love match. It's like Jimmy Connors and Chris Everett, isn't it? For the 2020s. <laughs> all right, so I hope everybody's enjoyed this video. If anybody's got a problem with it, don't take it up with me. Please don't take it up with me. Take it up with my alter ego. Alter ego, Porky. <laughs> but it's a bit of banter, but this is the word doing the rounds, and I just like to keep my followers informed about what's going on because Sky Sports is the biggest flagship we've ever had in this country for boxing. And I just think that they need to come out as an item. Come out as an item. Old hands. Have a bit of romance in your life, Barney. You've met me before. Have a bit of romance in your life. But, uh, I don't know. It's every man's dream, isn't it, to have a Sky presenter on the arm, don't you think? It's in mine, but, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? So, I just thought I'd put this out there, a little teaser for you all. All right? Have a good February. And uh, don't have nightmares, Barney and Anna. All right? Keep it real. All right? Peace out. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.